This is the Beaumont Bulletin. I'm your host, Eric Adar. My usual co-host, Jordan Wexler, ate a crepe laced with Care Bear magic and fell into the fifth dimension. Today, I am joined by Drew Leach. Salutations. And once again, one of our producer, producers, Lindsay Mutz, is supposedly in New York this semester. But we have some evidence that shows she has been hiding in the rafters of this very studio all semester. Neat. Anyways, let's read them headlines. A false active shooter alarm was triggered on the University of Michigan's campus when 911 was flooded by calls reporting popping balloons. Hey, what's the difference between Wolverines and Spartans? One understands party favors and one can beat you in basketball. Oh wait, that's both of us. Actual shots fired. Brexit is still a hot, hot mess, and it's all supposed to go down on March 29th. For those of you who don't know, Brexit is an acronym for Bullocks. Rubbish at six, isn't it? Twats? A recent Michigan law allows librarians to administer an overdose reversing drug, Naloxone. Okay, that rules out the library for places to kill myself. Kentucky's governor, Matt Bevan, has publicly claimed that he deliberately exposed all nine of his children to chickenpox instead of vaccinating them. Can we please stop electing anti-vaxxers? Leave them screaming into their local Facebook marketplace about essential oils, where they belong. Payless Shoe Store has begun the process of going out of business by closing several locations. I guess it's about time Americans pay more. Drake is apparently obsessed with the son he claimed wasn't his for years. Apparently, he's finally getting old enough for the grooming to start. Michigan State men's basketball team has beaten U of M three times in the last few weeks. This means that if we win the national title, students will likely move on from burning couches and start committing actual arson. I suggest we start with the business college. Who needs them? I would burn Hubbard. Why? My ex lives there. The Iowa Attorney General's office is suing to shut down an illegal puppy laundering ring. Now I'm no business major, but I have to say that the logical next move for the criminals is to launder counterfeit purses. To carry the puppies in. March Madness is fast approaching, and we here at the Beaumont Bulletin have made a telecaster's bracket. In my final four, we have the Beaumont Bulletin, obviously, Sideshow, The Show, and The Sleeper Team, turn. Sadly, Giraffe House didn't even make the tournament. ESPN made the mistake of releasing the women's NCAA tournament bracket four hours too early. And absolutely no one cared. A homeowner in the San Francisco Bay Area has been receiving a significant amount of flack for the dinosaurs in front of his Flintstone style home. Once again, an old white woman has to be a yabba dabba douche bag and ruin all the fun. This school year, Michigan State University students have been the victims of countless burglaries and robberies. In response to all these crimes, the police have maximized security. Alex Trebek recently announced that he has been diagnosed with What is stage 4 pancreatic cancer? Too soon, buddy. Too soon. This year, over 100,000 students traveled to Mexico for spring break. Chloe Sullivan was going to join us here today to tell us about her vacation, but there was a slight change of plans, and we join her now, live via satellite. Chloe, are you there? Yes. Hi, everybody. Or should I say aloha like the locals? <laughs> Amino hablo español. <laughs> uh, I don't think, uh, anyway. How was your spring break? Oh my god. It has been so, 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 so good. You have no idea. Everyone here is just so nice and so pretty and they all just want to have a good time. I love it here. That's good to hear. For our viewers who may want to look into going to Mexico on their next break, where exactly are you, Glowy? 
on a beach? I don't know. Is this a trick question? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not a trick question. I was just making conversation. Anyway, I understand that you missed your flight back home and that's why you couldn't be here today. What kind of compromises have you had to make to deal with this unexpected setback, especially since the semester has started back up? I, uh, I guess the semester has started again. Nobody thinks about class down here. It's all vacay all day. Yes, but what kind of arrangements have you had to make south of the border? Well, I booked a new flight. And I've had to find new places to sleep since I lost my hotel. Yesterday, I woke up in the pool on a floaty and I got chased by lifeguards and they were just yelling, Sally, Sally. And I'm like, my name's not Sally. But now I'm better at making friends and finding a place to crash. And that could be a good skill to have. Do you think you've made any lasting friendships? Mm. Mm. Not that I remember. I'm like really good friends with this guy called Zach Chest Tattoo though. <laughs> it sounds like there's a story there. Chloe, how many drinks have you had today? <sighs> Uh, that's a little concerning. Well, just one more question, and then you should probably get some water. Do you have any tips for people who want a more culturally authentic experience on their vacation? Por favor, ven a sacar esta chica estúpida de nuestra playa de Deja. De vieros estas idiotas. No las queremos más que tú. That sounded so hot. Please get home safe, Chloe.